Hello everyone and welcome to H. E. Jewel Lapidary and uh, Eli Ganim. Thing for this video is I want to show you the swivel bale that I did. Uh, that swivel bale uh, it was done for a special cab that I had and I'm going to show you everything else. The thing is going to be a little bit different than uh, the normal videos that I, uh, I do for you. But there is a reason for it. I when I when I made it, I took pictures, series of pictures, and a couple of videos, in order to show it to my followers on uh, on uh, Facebook. But then it, it was completely different design for the bale, and I figured, you know, I should do also a video for you guys uh, to do it. So. There's a couple of things that I need to talk to you about here, and uh, uh, the first thing was that bale that I'm going to show you. The second thing is that there is two groups of you are watching this video right now, and I'm going to explain why. Uh, the first group uh, that's following me on the channel that's called E.G. Jewel Lapidary. Uh, and this was the initial one that I created a while back. Uh, then the second group are watching this video on Ellie Ganime, which is using my name uh, for that channel. But why do I have two channels with the same videos? Uh, here's the reason. A couple of years ago, uh, I just couldn't, when, when actually, when uh, uh, Google bought uh, YouTube something happened there and I couldn't get in to log into my uh, EG Jewel Lepidary channel and I tried uh, two months for two months I was just trying to get contact Google or talk to anybody there but nothing happened uh, and I couldn't so at the end I decided okay I'm gonna create another channel and the good thing is I had all the uploaded YouTubes uh, I had them on my computers and uh, so I used them again into the new channel so all the new people or, or the new group that on my new channel which is Ellie Guinea, uh now they can watch also the old YouTube uh, videos but well, here's the funny part two months ago uh, you know, I, I got a letter, uh, but I'm not going to go into details. Uh, the, the, to make it short, I got into my old YouTube channel, and for some reason, I could log in differently, like different password, different everything else, and get into my channels and actually add and upload new videos and that was kind of funny but here I am you know having two channels right now and I tried to merge both of them together but uh, YouTube will not allow merging two channels together so uh, so what happened now is when I make a new video like this one here it's going to be uploaded on uh, the old channel, which is uh, E.G. Jewel Lapidary, also I have to upload it onto the new channel um, for the new channel subscriber to be able to see it. And since I have a lot of subscribers on both channels, I can't just uh, say, okay, move from from this channel to that channel and it will be alright, so forget it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload any new channels into uh, both channels so both of you you'll be able to see it and uh, I believe some of you especially on the old channel which is uh, uh, EG Jewel Lepidary um, it's been for a while since you get any notices from YouTube saying hey uh, here's a new uh, video you gotta go and watch it until a few weeks ago where <laughs> I took the, uh, the the videos that I added, which is new videos that I've added into the new channel, Ellie Ganim, and I 
uploaded them into the old channel. So now, the for you um, old subscribers on the first channel, you start getting notices uh, on to watch my new videos. So I hope that this will uh, get you going again. And it's not because um, I wasn't adding any uh, new videos for you guys, but it was. This is the problem I. Uh, I had is I couldn't log in. Anyway, to make it short, I hope you're going to enjoy this video and it's about the swivel. So uh, it's going to be a little bit different because you won't see a lot of movement as a video but you're going to see some of the pictures and I will add uh, my comment into that. This, like I mentioned there's a couple of uh, uh, small videos that's going to show you uh, how things is moving and uh, working so I hope you enjoy it so stick around and now this is the boulder opal that I finished and I did it from both sides all around and I was kind of uh, wondering how am I going to show it uh, both sides are beautiful and I needed to do both of them um, to show both of them at the same time so I created or I designed that uh, bail it's a swivel bail that I'm going to show you how I made it uh, so when you wear it it can go either side and it's going to look beautiful this way I can show it all around In this picture here you could see that the bezel is already made and it looks very good. It goes all around the uh, um, the cab but the idea now is how how can I hold it? I need the prong. The prongs has to hold it from both sides so that was kind of okay how am I going to do it? And I was thinking about it and then I ended up with this here. I did cut uh, five pieces uh, here that I'm going to use as a prong uh, but I wasn't too sure about it. It was kind of thick and to bend them I didn't want to break it after I soldered them and I didn't want to bend them so I left it aside for now just to figure out something else. What am I going to do? So meanwhile um, I worked on the build design and as you could see here I did uh, a drawing uh, of the build that I made and then I did cut it uh, to shape. Now this is the bale already cut and uh, I took one of the prongs that I cut before and I just soldered it right in the center of it that uh, before I, I just bend it uh, and that's gonna look that's gonna be in the front in order to get the bale to swivel I soldered the bale over the tube and I had a pin with a head that uh, will fit inside that tube so the bale can actually swivel around that pin now here you can see how it actually works. So the bail actually will swivel around that pin. And uh, the pin itself is going to be soldered into the bezel. Um, and we're going to get to that later on and I'm going to show you. By that time uh, I figured out what I was going to do with the prongs and I took the same square wires that I used for the pin and I got them together as you could see like that and then I soldered them. Here I used my uh, hummingbirds. I used two hummingbirds to hold the prongs uh, together against each other right in the center and I did solder them. Uh, I had uh, five of them so two is going to be on each side and one is going to be at the bottom 
here as you can see I had all uh, five of them are already completed and what I did also is I took each one and uh, the four prongs on each one I did twist them so you could see actually they are uh, twisted and they look much better that way now at this point I had to solder all the prongs on the bezel and um, as you could see I had a, a fire brick uh, and I used the corner of it I held the uh, bezel uh, on the top as you could see here and then I used the uh, the hummingbird to hold them in the right position and then I saw the all of them now, I remember I got five of them two on each side and this one here is right on the bottom uh, of the uh, right on the bottom of uh, the bezel now it came to uh, to do the uh, the bill and it was kind of tricky to do it because I didn't want it to move so you could see here I had two pins uh, pieces of steel actually to hold the pin in position and I had one of my uh, uh, hummingbird to hold everything and worked out pretty good this here is the final shape uh, the final piece on one side and uh, it's looks beautiful and you could see the uh, prongs holding on this side uh, now when I turn it on the other side as you could see here now the opposite side of it and also it looks fantastic um, this is great but now I'm going to show you a little video of how the whole thing works together